Here's another cool one. It's called the shape overlay, but this can also be done in earlier versions. I just found I, I, I worked on it before this class because I thought, you know what? I want people to know how to do it in other versions. So this can also be done. It's just a lot quicker in this version. So I'm going to show you this photo that I took. Oops, that's not, that's not the right one. Let's go back in and, and do this one. And what I want to do is create a really cool shape effect. So if you go to Guided, go to Fun Edits, you go down where it says, let me just hide this thing real quick. You go down where it says Shape Overlay Effect. Then you go, you follow each step. I'm going to click on Select a Shape. There's a bunch of different shapes, so I'm going to scroll down. I personally kind of liked this one right here. So I'm going to take that shape. I'm going to take it from the corners. Okay. Make it the size I want it to be. I want it to be about like so. And then I click on the check mark. Down here, you see the green check mark there. Then I'm going to click on outside effect. And you can do black outline, white. You can do, I can't remember what this one's called. That's kind of funky. You can also do black and white for the outskirts. You can do extrude, which I kind of thought was cool. Takes a little bit of time for that one. Okay, that one's extrude. This one here is called sepia. This one here is called green. And this one here is called blues. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Here's one that shows the different intensity levels, like you can do some pattern backgrounds. I kind of, for this one, I'm just going to use a checkerboard, which means that it's transparent. You can do inside, outside as well. So if I wanted to go to the inside and I wanted to do some funky stuff to the inside, I could do that with all these different effects. Oops, I think I told it too many times. <laughs> it's kind of stuck. Ooh, that's too dark. Here's another one. If you don't like these effects, all you have to do is click on this there, here where it says no effect and you're good to go. So I'm just going to go back to my original. I can then go ahead and crop it to shape or I'm just going to go with next and I'm going to go into expert mode. Now, this is where I'm going to start working on a layout. How many of you would like to me to show you how to put a quick layout together, a 12 by 12, and use this piece? Say yes, you have time. Okay. All right. So absolutely. So now this is what I'm going to do. Over here to the right-hand side, you're going to see these different layers. Okay. So I've got, I'm turning them on and off so you can see them. All right, so what I want to do, let me just think about this, is I want to take this layer and this layer, I believe, <laughs> and then merge them together. So right click and merge layers. Now I'm going to go over, I'm going to open up a background piece of paper. This one is called Painted Autumn. Remember at the beginning I showed you Snickerdoodle Designs, their collection. I'm going to take then this, drag it and drop it over to the right hand side, and then I'm going to close this up because I no longer need it. So I've got this, and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, so I'm going to take it from one of the corners. Remember you have to have like constrained proportions checked and all that fun stuff down there. I'm going to click on this. Now I'm going to start adding pieces of this kit, so I'm going to go File and Place. I'm going to place a border on the left hand side. Just drag it and drop it into place. And then I'm going to go to File and Place. There's another little thing I want to bring in. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to have this hang up over the top of it. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and place some word art, which came with that kit. So I'm gonna go file and place. This will fit perfectly down the bottom right hand corner. Click on the check mark. I can always enlarge it or shrink it if I needed to. And then I don't think there was, was there anything else? Let me look here. Um, that didn't really fit very well there. So that's all good. I don't think I needed anything else. Let me just see what this looks like. So there's another quote if you wanted to use it. You know, there's like five or six different quotes that she had in there. So I'm just going to drag that to the trash can because I don't need that one. I think this one was the best. I'm going to move this on over. I can put a drop shadow on that if I wanted to. So I could go over to the drop shadow. I'm going to go over to layer, layer style, mm, layer style, <laughs> style settings drop shadow. See how it did it? I don't know if you saw that because it's pretty quick. Let me just kind of zoom in there. See that drop shadow there? Gives it kind of a cool drop shadow 3D look. Zoom back out and there you have a layout. So I hope you enjoyed this Sunday snippet and if you want to go ahead and try to complete a layout using this type of uh, shape overlay and if you want to watch the rest of this video you can find it inside the membership area. Just go to naods.com if you have a little uh, symbol in the upper right hand corner you can go to that and just go to your library. If you see a login then go ahead and click on the login and you will get there that way. And then I'm just going to go to click here to view classes and you should be able to find it in, I believe it's 2018 members classes. Let me just check it out. Yes, 2018 members only classes. It's called What's New to Elements 2018 with Michelle. You go in there and if you wanted to find out, I think it was like right towards the end. Let me just kind of scroll over. Here it is. You can just hover over the top. Oops. Let's turn that down and you'll find exactly where it is. If you hover over, there's a little thumbnail that comes up so that you can see it. Of course, you can always full screen mode it by clicking on this little icon down here in the bottom right hand corner. But I'm really hoping that you are enjoying these Sunday snippets. And also, let's see what you can do. Put it inside that Facebook uh, community and we can all check out your work. Thanks for joining me and until next time. Bye for now.